Neil Diamond, but I think that it's also a compliment that the audience is so hungry for Neil Diamond that they will come and see somebody um, do his show, do his songs, and, and perform uh, his wonderful, wonderful music. Um, Neil Diamond uh, touched me in a way that uh, uh, has forever changed my life. So Utah with Ann Staples. Welcome back to So You Time. I'm Neil here Diamond, a man named David Sherry, and he's come to town from California. So we're going to take a look and meet him. Okay, great. I'm a Neil Diamond impersonator. That's what they call us in Vegas. I consider myself a little bit more of an impressionist because doing something that is really so close to the, the original artist, it's very much a, a multifaceted performance. Um, I'm from the Sorry. Southern California area, I live in San Diego, and, uh, but I tour the United States. I'm here specifically for a benefit. Um, theater is near and dear to my heart. When I was a teenager, I got my start in entertainment and musical theater. I just think that if it hadn't been for theater, and getting started in entertainment when I was a young man, uh, I, I really think it saved my life in a lot of ways. Neil Diamond's songs are, are truly a treat to perform. I've never experienced a more prolific songwriter, maybe the Beatles, but you had John and Paul. You know, when I was 13 years old, the very first 45 I ever bought was Sweet Caroline. And, you know, it motivated me to buy a record for the first time, but it captured me in a way that I'd never experienced uh, I was so moved by the song uh, that I sat in my bedroom and watched the record going round and round, listening to it again and again, and I became just so mesmerized with his, his sound, with his feeling, uh, with the style of, of his songwriting. I related to the solitary man. Uh, he was speaking to me personally, and I really felt that. And uh, then about six months later, just before my 14th birthday, I saw my very first rock concert, and yes, it was Neil Diamond. And I knew at that moment that he was going to be as big as Elvis or bigger. And uh, I became a lifelong fan at that time. And I've watched Neil Diamond evolve as an entertainer, as a performer. I believe he was the first um, pop musician that brought theater to the concerts. Uh, his lighting, his sound, the drama, the feeling that Neil brings to a concert is very much like a theatrical event. And that's what I try to bring this, to the show of mine. It's called Diamond is Forever. And I really believe Diamond's music will be forever. In fact, the most stunning thing is I've toured through the, the United States, from Alaska to the Midwest, uh, are the varied age groups. I expected the audience to be my age and senior citizens and people that you know, grew up with Neil Diamond. And I find that I get teenagers and college students telling me, you know, we listened to Neil Diamond music when we were cleaning house. And when I left home, I took my mom's eight track or, you know, whatever. And so it's really thrilling to see that the audience is a myriad of, of people. I didn't realize, but I started this preparation when I was 13 years old. Um, being a Neil Diamond fan, I bought every record, waited in line when the new one came out and so on, and listened to the albums and, and records again and again and again, and by osmosis or whatever it is, by some sort of uh, unknowing third eye, or my mind absorbed it all, and I was so startled early on when I would do a Neil Diamond song just to perform the song, not as an impersonator, that people would tell me, my, you sound just like Neil Diamond, and I was really startled by that. So then when I really decided to become a Neil Diamond impersonator and take this seriously, I started to really listen to his videos and look at his mannerisms. I really go for more of the feel of Neil Diamond than just a, a Neil Diamond look, though I incorporate a lot of his moves and certainly uh, I think the thing that makes the production really special is that it's more than just a concert. It's more than just Neil Diamond's music. I take Neil Diamond's actual words and I infuse it throughout the production to tell the story of Neil Diamond from the very beginning right through to his superstar status today. I know that before my time is up or his time is up, I will meet Neil Diamond. Um, I know he knows of me. Uh, I, I've heard that uh, he's very happy, in fact, with the fact that there are a number of impersonators and tribute bands and tribute artists like myself 
uh, carrying on his music. And uh, so I know he approves, and uh, I hope someday I'll meet him on the road. I, I think it's the ultimate compliment, not only that, that um, there are people that want to devote their career to an artist like Neil Diamond, but I think that it's also a compliment that the audience is so hungry for Neil Diamond that they will come and see somebody um, do his show, do his songs, and, and perform uh, his wonderful, wonderful music. Um, Neil Diamond uh, touched me in a way that uh, uh, has forever changed my life. He put out an album in 1972 called Hot August Night, and he began his autobiographical I Am I Said with the words, I need, I want, I care, I weep, I ache, I am, I said, I am. And at that time, men didn't weep, men didn't ache, or we they didn't tell anybody that. And it gave me permission to realize that I could feel, and that if this very sexy superstar uh, could, could do these things, that it was okay for me to, to have these feelings. And it really opened me up, I think, to be a much more loving and feeling and uh, um, in tune person. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Soul Utah.